All right. <laughs> all right. Just like, can... Okay. Um, yeah, I wanted to, I had this thought and I just thought I'd ask the question. Um, now I need to give some more disclaimers than our usual for a talk. This is not legal advice. I am not a lawyer. This is not the view of my employer. In my day job, I do as lawyers do, and you probably should too. Um, but in general, we can look at the legal system of any country and we can see that it's not black and white. Many things subject to precedent. Most tech company lawyers I've met are like, well, what did Apple do this year? What did Google do this year? Um, and they want to avoid lawsuits rather than fighting them. So this talk is more about questions than answers. So we can ask, so what does copyright do? Well, it restricts copying. Copying. If you go to the copyright.gov website, it tells you copyright owners have the following rights. Reproducing the work, preparing derivative works, distributing, blah, blah, blah. And then there's other stuff that really doesn't apply to code like performing songs or displaying works of art. So when we put a copyright license on our code, we might put the MIT license, right? Um, and here's the MIT license. And it says it, it gives you the license to deal in the software, including the rights to use, copy, modify, merge, publish, distribute, sublicense, etc., provided you give the you give the license along with it. Now the question: If I use code in a context for a context only, do I require copyright? If no code from the library I used is distributed in my binary and it's used to produce values at compile time only, I'm not copying anything. I'm not modifying. I'm not distributing. Does that require copyright license? Mm, you want now, an answer? Well, <laughs> I don't think any of us are qualified to give an answer, to be um, fair. But I, I'm on both sides of this issue. So I use libformat at compile time only. My build system uses the formatting capabilities, but it then converts strings into numbers. The strings do not ship in the binary. I ship no part of libformat. Do I require a copyright license? Now, to be clear, I am using libformat consistently with its license. So I'm on the user side of this issue. I'm also on the author side, because even though I left the games industry in 2018, I'm still getting credits in uh, Madden and other titles up to the present day. Because I wrote a const for a library back in about 2015, one of the things it does, and this I really gritted my teeth over, was C++11 implementation of SHA-256 at compile time. Now, somebody in the games industry working at Electronic Arts found it. Now I have those credits. Um, but this code only works at compile time. It uses a well-known algorithm. The number it produces is, in no sense, my work. So do they need a copyright license to use my library? If we are not distributing the work, reproducing the work, not creating a derivative work, then how are we infringing copyright owners' exclusive rights? So the question really revolves around what is a distributive work, a derivative work? Is it possible that a program is the whole derivation, a derivative work of just one number, the SHA-256 hash, uh, which was produced by a well-known method that any programmer can look up? Um, it's certainly not the case that this presentation is licensed the same way because I just used a picture that has that license on the title page. Now, we're programmers, of course. We have no problem with the Sorites paradox. Um, the sensible answer to the question is no, but we're quite happy to define two piles of beans. Um, you know, a pile of beans can be zero beans to us. That's fine. We ship numbers. When is a number far enough from its origin to be considered unencumbered by copyright? The boundary is not well defined. Um, in the past, we've had situations where you know numbers can be illegal because um, they are programs or keys that circumvent something. But they might also have some intrinsic property, like being a large prime. Um, and uh, you can look up the DMCA wars, or Phil Carmody has this illegal prime. So the conclusion is, I don't know, I'm not a lawyer. Probably do what the lawyers say, and it's their job, not mine, to figure this. But copyright is clearly broken. It <laughs> suffers from paradoxes. It's homeopathic. I don't know. Um, does Contextbra alter things at all? It's an interesting thought. And you'll have to imagine that this is fine meme because I don't have a license to display it. <laughs> Thank you very much.